हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे इज थर्टी मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी मेमोरियल डे मंडे एंड राइट नाउ वी आर इन द स्टेटन आइलैंड सो देर आर सम शिप हेयर डाउट हेयर फॉर दी टू बी विजिटेड बाय पब्लिक सो आई थॉट टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑफ दिस सो सोन आई विल बी on this ship and uh, i will make a video let's see so friends after waiting in a line for security now i am on the pier this is F fdny in marine line so let's see so let's see what boats they have for us today and that is uh, as you can see is in new york city we started from there and uh, now we are on staten island get on board so let's wait for this also so friends finally after waiting for like uh, one hour i was the last in this group let me show you the last now explore this
in tactics for when we need to board a ship. Sometimes we intercept drugs. Sometimes we find ships with people on it. And all kinds of situations, all kinds of missions that we're training for. Uh, and so we have to have sailors that are trained. And then the Coast Guard comes along because they've got requirement. Every one of us is trained in firefighting. I'm the chaplain, I'm the pastor for this crew and all the other LCS crews. And a couple of weeks ago, I was putting on my fire gear and suiting up and going out and, and up in, and doing firefighting training. So this is the AMZ, this is the Airborne Mission Zone. Sorry, right, right below us is the WMZ, the Waterborne Mission Zone. So these are the hangar doors that open at the very back. And we've got a small craft that we call the rib. The rib is about 11 meters, so it's about 30 feet long. But think about a, a water ski boat that's about 30 feet long that comes out and it comes back up into the water. And if we need to board a ship, Here we are just going inside and this is a, uh, I think, drinking water. the working ship. in the front portion of this ship as you can see and this is a very big you can say gun or a tank which fire bullets or missiles but I think we, we call it a gun I don't know This is certain that it is a very big. And in front of us is Lanzarobes, as you can see. And this is connecting Brooklyn and uh, Staten Island. the 
pick her up safely and making sure that 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 we get on our board safely. So they they're very trained on dealing with some pretty dangerous equipment. All right. We also have the little crane on the side of the ship. This can be put in a couple of different places. This is what we use for search and rescue operations. When we have somebody that we're trying to pull out of the water, we regularly train people. We call them SAR swimmers, um, search and rescue swimmers. So if somebody is in, this, we find, we come along, we find somebody floating in the ocean. They will get out, go and make sure they're safe, and then we can use that to essentially fish them out of the sea. Okay, you will also notice the 57 caliber gun on the front of this. This can fire several hundred rounds per minute, and it will fire 10 to 12 miles. So, as far as your eyes can see, on the other side of the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, we can, we can fire to the, the end of our sideline. We can hit downtown Manhattan with the gun. No, we're not going to. <laughs> Right, it's an electronic targeting system, and it is so loud when it hits, when, when it, like, first off, when it shoots, it rocks the entire ship, and secondly, you, if you were out on the deck, that would be the last thing you ever heard. It is that loud. You have to be in another location with hearing protection. It's very loud. Uh, in my study, uh, like most pastors, I've got my Bibles, I've got my books, I've got my computer, and I've got a 57 caliber shell from a time I got to shoot the big gun. What? Typical day at the office. <laughs> that shell, that shell is about this tall, about this big around, and tiny little firing pin. Go figure. Can they control it from the bridge? Can, can it destroy the whole ship? That's what we call a bad Navy day. We don't like that. We have our uniforms, we have our dress uniforms. I'm wearing my summer whites, for instance. Uh, this is the ship's dress uniform. So when we're pulling into port for a commissioning for a special event like Fleet Week, this is, we put the flags up, but the flags are used as naval signals. It's a whole language based on the flags and, and how ships talk to each other. Like for instance, the white and black flag over there, that says that we have The green and white flag there, that signals that the highest ranking officer on the pier is on this ship. So there's a whole nautical language that is spoken by the flying of flags. Yeah, that's a good question. Any other questions? <laughs> from here to the our next stop but uh, this is a really very big gun as you can see we, we call it a gun not cannon the the uh, vice captain of this ship told me and it has very high like hundreds of round can be fired in one minute
So friends, now we have to climb these steps, which are very steep. So this is the pilot house as you can see. This is as my friend might have explained, you can take a picture of anything in here. Just yeah, take a picture of my friend. Of because he's in uniform and because he's carrying a firearm. Yeah, That's the one thing you can't take a picture of, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then the executive officer sits right there where you're sitting. Oh. Now on this bridge, or on this pilot house, this is where we steer and control the ship. This is where we have a number of sensors. Also, don't touch any of the instruments or things that you see because these are the ways that we detect other ships and what's going on out in the sea and also the way that we make sure that we're not going to hit anything because it's a bad day if you hit another ship, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to hit other ships, but we also don't want to run aground in any place. Like I say, these ships can get in almost any place, but we want to make sure we do everything safely. Now on this bridge, on this pilot house, there are always three people. There is the officer on the deck, and he sits right where you're sitting. And then there's the junior officer on the deck, and he sits right here, or she. And then there's another person roving around, just making, so, and they're connected by a shaft, and so that's that generates a lot of power. But then we also have two diesel engines. So between the two of them, we generate about 125,000 horsepower, and this ship can go at about 35 knots. So that rotate or do you have to move the ship in? Just, it's just, it's just, it's just, that red circle you saw? Yeah. The tip of that gun can point anywhere. Got it. So you don't need to turn the whole ship to move. Yeah. Those yellow things in the water surrounding the ship, that's the security blanket? No, so that's uh, in case uh, oil or fuel were to spill over the side of the ship. That'll, uh, the oil and fuel will sit on top of the water, stay inside of that, and then we can soak it up with, um, we call it diapers essentially, we can soak it up with those. You're going to go through officer country, so this is where the officers live, and then you're going to go back out, watch the hidden step, and then go down the ladder back out to the AMZ. And there's going to be a table out there. We have shirts, we have hoodies, we have some coins if you want to uh, take something home with you. But thank you guys for visiting us, and hope you enjoyed your visit to USS Milwaukee. Thank you for
selling t-shirt, shirt, sweatshirt. So obviously I will buy some of them as a So as you can see the next group is coming. selling so let's see so let's buy something today I would like to buy that uh, shirt this shirt yes This is ten dollar. And uh, the size we have uh